Hello everyone, this is Karen Elaine here. I am obsessed with these self-closing boxes, these Tato. Um, I wanted to show you how I made this. I found a YouTube video and uh, trying to remember the name of the YouTuber, but it was a really, I'll put it in the link below. It was just a really helpful um, tutorial and I was able to make these very easily. So. I'm going to show you how I do it out of my rice paper, jelly printed rice paper. Now you don't need to do this with double sided paper because it's all, the folds are only on one side. Uh, but the rice paper is nice and strong. So I'm going to show you how I fold that. First thing you want to do is you want to have your paper with the pattern side down or whatever the color side down. And you're going to fold it in half in one direction. And unfold and fold it in half in the opposite direction. Now flip it over, or actually have the pattern side up, and fold it corner to corner in both directions. You want to make sure your paper is perfectly square before starting, of course. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to push that fold on, that's in the inside. I'm going to push it outward and I'm going to collapse this into a square base. Basically with two flaps on either side, like so. And what I'm going to do on the folded edge, I'm going to take this folded edge and I'm going to fold it towards the center, this crease right here. And I'm just going to make a nice little fold here and then I'm going to bring the other side to match that side. Okay, like that. And I'm flipping it over and I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Just making a fold towards that center crease and another fold towards that. Try to match what's underneath. One thing that makes this easier is if I just take this top pay layer and just fold it all the way down. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, like this. And I'm going to open these up. I'm just going to kind of make this so I can get the these sides open. And I'm going to fold those down. So I, basically, I'm just marking where I need to fold a crease, where where I need to make the crease, right here and here. Just marking this place here. Okay, now I'm going to unfold everything. And I'm going to turn it over so that the white side is up or the light non-pattern side is up. And you'll see there's this, lots of folds here in the center. And we have these little points that we just made. I'm just going to fold those right back. And I don't have to look to see that's where I need to I need to have these folds end right at the creases. And if it's not quite there, I'm going to just push it up a little bit to do that. There, like this. And I'm going to just make sure that that fold is right. It starts right at this uh, crease on the, so on the sides, this angled crease. Um, both, uh, the same on this side as well. Like that. Okay. Next step, we're going to take the, the uh, fold that we just made and we're going to fold it up to the center, right up to the center and just, we're going to crease it, but we're not going to crease it all the way. We're going to crease it to the first, we have a, a crease that's here and then the first crease that we get to right here and the next, there's a, you'll see there's a crease here, just only creased between those two creases. We're going to do this on all four sides. So basically this crease here and this crease here, we're going to just crease right in between those two. You'll see if you look on it, you'll see these creases here. Okay, now we're going to take the these edges and we're going to fold this raw edge to the center. And the same thing, you'll see these creases here. 
you'll see these you're going to make your crease only to that from the center going to those two closest creases right there and that's going to give you that octagon So now you have eight, you have an octagon. You'll see it here. You'll see the creases. You have an octagon, perfect octagon right here. And that's, this is where we're going to fold and collapse everything into the center, into this top toe. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to look at the outer points of my, um, my octagon. Those are the points that I'm gonna make a valley fold just going to make that valley fold and I'm not going to go any farther than that. I'm just going to bring in, just start collapsing it along the folds that I've already made and I'm not creating any new folds now. I'm just going to create the, collapse these down now. It kind of goes naturally. You'll feel as you work with this, you'll just not make new creases. You're just going to, well actually you will make one new crease. It'll be a diagonal crease. I'm just going to flatten that and using my pre-creasing as a guide. And remember, you want to make this point the point, point that sticks out. So I'll just keep pushing that in and saying, there's the other point. And I'll just lay that down. And it actually is so much easier than it looks. So you just lay, you'll see how it just kind of collapses into the shape that I'm looking for. And I just want to create, make sure that I'm following along this octagon. Just kind of pressing, making, pressing these and pushing them down. And then when you get to the very last one or the la latter ones, you'll just kind of pinch and fold these little points and push these in and let these come out. And then you'll just start to collapse everything together and it all goes into a clockwise uh, lay down clockwise and there it is it just comes together like magic and I'm just going to use my little tool to get that nice and flat and what I like to do is uh, leave it there for a little while to keep that memory and these will open once you get once they get the memory the paper memory it will just uh, be self-closing basically so here's one here I had put um, lettering in it and what's interesting when I put the lettering in it it makes it stiffer on the bottom but I it does this nice self-closing thing which I think is really cool I'll do it again on this one this is another sheet of paper I jelly printed but actually this one isn't jelly printed this one is just scraped on with a credit card but I'll open it up get a little saying and then it just kind of self closes I think that's so amazing so this is a traditional Japanese tato which is a flat box. Now this one isn't bouncing back, but it will. Eventually it'll learn. It's, it will have a memory. I think these are incredible to put. Uh, you could put uh, small things inside and you put them in an art journal and open it up to a message. I just think they're really fabulous. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today and thank you so much for watching.